Welcome back to the Working Family Lobby Corps session update, where each week we will bring you into the halls of the Capitol for you to witness the legislative process in action. The 2012 legislative session opened on Tuesday, January 10th, with Governor Rick Scott's State of the State address to both houses of state government. In his speech, Florida's Let's Get to Work Governor promised much but delivered little. The State of the State address was just one more example of the fluff and misleading rhetoric that has come to characterize this administration. While he put on the face of a champion of the middle class and willing to compromise, Rick Scott's deeds continue to reflect an ideologically driven agenda divorced from the realities facing Florida's working families. The Treasury is still losing billions from tax loopholes and special interest exemptions. Our schools are still crippled by a lack of funding. Hardworking Floridians are still paying a much higher tax burden than the powerful and politically connected businesses and wealthiest individuals. At the same time as Governor Scott's speech, Activists from across the state converged on the steps of the old Capitol for the fourth Awake the State event in one year. At the Awake the State rally, people from all walks of life and occupations came together to send a clear message to Governor Scott and his extremist allies in the legislature. It's time to stop cutting the budget and instead make a real investment in our future to protect and expand Florida's middle class. Just less than a year ago, I had the opportunity to stand here at another Awake the State event. And I asked everybody there, to stand with the half a million men, women, workers, and retirees of the Florida AFL-CIO and their families because our right to exist, our right to participate in the political process and speak out on behalf of all workers was being threatened. Thanks to all of you and your work, we are still here and we are still fighting for all working people in the state of Florida. The extremist majority in the House wasted no time resuming their assaults on working families this week when HP 609 was heard in the House Community and Military Affairs Subcommittee. In Florida, an estimated $84 million is taken from upwards of 27,000 workers each year when unscrupulous business owners and contractors refuse to pay their workers. Local communities like Miami-Dade County have been working to pass local ordinances to stop this shameful practice and help these workers recover their wages. But HB 609 would ban local governments from combating wage theft while doing nothing to solve the problem at the state level. Wage theft is an issue in this state. Otherwise, we wouldn't be seeing people uh, going to these county ordinances and we wouldn't see, be seeing such a push for these county ordinances. Um, and it saddens me that we're not up here instead debating a bill on how to resolve the issue of wage theft. So instead of saying, how are we going to treat our workers fair in this state, we're instead saying, how can we make sure that philosophically we don't do a darn thing for the workers in this state, but, we, but we're going to make sure that they can't go to a county, to their own local government, and seek, uh, seek a remedy. Following several procedural fights, HB 609 eventually passed with a party line vote. One down and eight to go. Stay tuned for another legislative session update. Solidarity.